Good job, Apple Photos teams. Finally updating it for the New Year's. You got the new nice images. Like this uh, green exhibit, Vitrines Project, Apple on Washington. Good job, good vibes. Good morning. It's actually funny too, because like honestly, a lot of these nice pictures are just essentially uh, street photos. And so one of these things. What's up, Dom? You staying warm, bro? Yeah, nice stay warm, stay warm. Just do some, uh, do some jumping jacks real quick. Um, yeah, this one's an old one. I already done seen that one. Maybe that's new. Nice composition. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Actually, I like this. this is a, just, just, just show more picture of people happy. It's like, why so miserable? All right. So the philosophy of thinking. Um, uh, and also one man, one jacket. Military Gore-Tex, $5,000 USD. Straight from Afghanistan. Shout out to my brother-in-law, Khan. Yeah, military, Gore-Tex, the real stuff is legit. It's so funny because like, all these people be like anti-military and blah, blah, right? And the truth is, oh yeah. Truth of the matter, truth of the fact, in factuality, uh, the only, okay, people's like, okay, let me just, let me just, uh, let me just uh, share some thoughts. Um, everyone thinks that Israel is Jewish people. Okay, all this nonsense, uh, nonsense uh, conspiracy theories. Uh, the truth of the matter is the American military runs the world. Like, think about fiat currency, the US dollar. Uh, why do people accept it? Why do people, you know, whatevs? It's because America's got the big stick. What, we all what like? 700 trillion dollars to debt to china or i i even lost track of the number like 70 trillion 10 like an astronomy another number right uh we own a trillion pizzas to <laughs> we own 100 trillion pizzas to uh china right it's like uh how many how many panda expresses can you get right i call it the the panda express uh index at what point is one not permitted to spend more money on um wait on a, a bowl of uh Orange teriyaki or whatever, right? Good shout out to Margot Wait. on top of the hills. This place is nice. Wait. Can you see Margot? That place is really Wait. good. Go there for the aesthetics and stuff like that. Uh, Wait. Tell them that Eric Kim sent you. Okay. Wait. Wait. Right. Let's see if I can just do this on normal mode. Okay. So, da, 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 da. yeah, so, uh, you know, everyone, did, 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 did. okay, so the truth is the American military runs the world, right? Like, how is it that we keep printing out more fake monies, fiat currencies into the system? It's because America, our military power, we're like, yo, give me your oils and stuff like that. Um, and the interesting thing, too, is... Uh, Truth be told, even in today's world, like oil is still really important. Like, I mean, Elon Musk, Tesla, great. Um, still, it looks like Americans, we addicted to the gasoline. I mean, this is where I think Cybertruck is so interesting. Is the honest, come on. You got a Cybertruck in beast mode, beast mode. Got to get the beast mode, right? You got a Cybertruck in beast mode. Ain't nobody gonna be wanting to drive this like loser ass Ford F one fifty Raptor, right? And uh, shout out to the platform, platform parks. <laughs> I'm just like, just gonna use my iPad Pro as my uh, my new uh, my GoPro. Oh, yeah. So if you want to find happiness and pure joy, find it here in Culver City. The problem is the, the low light capability is not so good, but whatevs. Uh, say live, we, I know that we the new slaves. I'm about to, okay. Another fun fact, right? The big ass green uh, red building across the street, it's actually owned by Warner Brothers Discovery, which actually owns HBO Max. So that's why there's all these HBO Max stuff here. Yeah, there's the Margo on top. Shout out to Mark. Like go there for the granite and the super Wabi Sabi's bathrooms. And even this, what, Il Buca Vida? Hey, look at all this like random kitchen warehouse formants. It's like <laughs> the trend of the future is everyone's becoming more ancestral. Yo, look at these beautiful ass lights. 
It's so beautiful, guys. Um, yeah, so anyways, the, the fact of the matter is U.S. military runs the planet, blah, blah. I actually grew up doing a lot of, like, social justice. I, like, honestly, okay. So my critique about the whole, like, you know, woke-ass, progressive, social justice stuff is, uh, honestly, I grew up in it. I was part of this uh, group called Kaya, Korean American Youth uh, Association, part of uh, KCCB in uh, Oakland. It's a Korean center for the uh, center of the East Bay. You know, I learned about all the LGBT, LGBTQ stuff all the way back in high school. So I've already been done indoctrinated since the back day. I learned that Republicans were the devil and, and uh, you know, military was evil, blah, blah. And I always thought too, as a kid, like if all the money we put in the military, we just put into education, uh, the world would be a better place. Um, I'm starting to realize more as an adult. I'm 35 right now, born in 88. Um, the new thought I have is surplus sale. Never sell the surplus, just throw it in the trash. Actually, destruction is the, the, the key component to a real luxury brand. You can't sell it, just throw it into the furnace. That's what uh, Louis Vuitton uh, does, right? In Versace. He's like, can't press it, press the Versace. Okay. So, um, so that's uh, some, uh, some facts, some super facts. Um, so, yeah, look at this. So, Zen no Wabi so Yeah, actually, uh, Pro tip is, uh, you know, some like simple vlogging. Uh, iPad Pro, just the smallest one, the 11-incher, ultra-wide mode, 720p seems uh, totally sufficient and fine. Um, what, was, what was he talking about? Anyways, I always get distracted. That's why That's why all of this is uh, so good. But anyways, long story short, America military runs the planet, blah, blah. blah and America's the bad guy, but it feels good to be. Oh, yeah, I was talking about the like, war crit. Yeah, so honestly, um, that's why anyone throws no like fucking nonsense woke ass talk to me like I'm extremely critical, you know, because I had already, you know, I grew up in the, I grew up in the Bay Area, like East Bay, Alameda, Oakland, stuff like that. So I'm like, I'm like OG, 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 you know, liberal to this. And honestly, like I still self identify as a leftist, uh, liberal Democrat, I'm Korean, Korean, uh, Korean American Catholic, right? Um, but anyways, so independent thing to do okay so thinking about thinking um so in order to become a better thinker a more free-spirited thinker essentially is uh pretty simple you just gotta just delete 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 subtract subtract like my simple heuristic is every day delete one app or something from your phone it is ipad your laptop Application folders in your MacBook Pro, whatevs. Um, and uh, you can get to a point where you just don't got no more apps. <laughs> like I done did this like a billion times in uh, in uh, Vietnam, and that was it to a point. I just actually just got rid of my phone and locked it in a safe in the hotel room. And uh, actually, the true, 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 true tip is. The real, real, real best way to become a better independent thinker, blah, blah, is just get rid of your phone. And also another pro tip, um, I'm a big fan of the iPad Pro, the 11 incher, no stupid keyboard, no pencil. Anybody who gets a pencil or keyboard, use not a real one. Um, I'll uh, long live uh, Steve Jobs and Joni Ive. And actually the thought I had too was, ever since uh, Joni Ive dipped out of Apple's, um, <laughs> Apple is essentially the new Microsoft. I mean, I uh, I have admiration for Tim Cook. I mean, read the read the Walter Isaacson biography on Steve Jobs. Um, Tim Cook is a logistical mastermind, um, which is good, uh, but doesn't have a creative vision. And nobody have a creative vision no more. Okay, so check this out. Isn't that the most awesome wabi sabi thing of all time? Look at this. Look at this. It's like fucking dirt and shit and uh, look at that, look at that hole there, right? This is actually, I, I kind of like the Wabi Sabi vibes here. And also shout out to um, my friend uh, Irving at uh, Juliet. Yo, he deserves a raise. Uh, this restaurant here is super nice. Um, yeah, apparently a lot of uh, a lot of Hollywood actors and Disney, Disney Plus, Sony Pictures, a lot of them eat here and I can't believe I just live here. Actually, uh, yeah. If you want happiness, move to Culver City, the Arts District. 100% pedestrian uh, lifestyle. 
Also, like, I'm doing some research on David Geffen, you know, the guy who... So, LACMA, the LA Center for... LA Center Modern Arts Museum or whatever, right? Uh, go to Metropolis too. the... Essentially, imagine, like, Legos and cars on steroids. I think insanely amazing. Um, uh, best exhibit of all time. I could watch it for hours. Me, Cindy, Seneca, our mind was blown. And also, there's a thing called, like, what? Next Generation LA, it's just like, you just got a kid, until they're 18, they could go there for free until they're 18 years old. So San's only, what, three years old? And then uh, you could bring in an adult for free. So it's, um, yeah, I mean, parking's like 20 bucks, but fucking say la vie. Um, you know, it's so funny, people are so anti-paying money for parking, but honestly, it's like not a big deal. It's like, yo, you, you finna give your kid a mind-expanding, blowing experience. It's only 20 bucks. I mean, come on, you can't even, you can't even buy a Chipotle sandwich for 20 bucks nowadays, uh, let alone some Taco Bells. Um, so delete Instagram, delete the YouTubes. Uh, I also recommend don't listen to podcasts, especially, okay, this is a simple heuristic. Don't watch nothing supported by advertising. Doesn't matter if they got to pay the bills. It's like, he's like, yo, like, so don't trust the Tim Ferrisses. Uh, don't trust, um, let's face it. I mean, I love Joe Rogan. I think it's, I think it's hilarious, but, um, I think because he done got bought out by Spotify and then I don't know if he has advertising to do this. I mean, I only watched him because I wanted to watch Elon Musk interview, which was, uh, which was great. Um, even Lex Fre uh, Friedman, right? I think he's super cool. But like, why does he have ads? Like, just like, yeah, just, just fun. Your, like, if you just use Spotify for podcasts, it don't cost you nothing to host your uh, podcast free. So like, why do you need advertisers to pay the bill? Like, and then people say, oh, you gotta make a living, you gotta pay my rent, my staff. I'm like, come on, just do it, do it yourselves. Um, yeah, don't, don't trust none of them. So only trust podcasters who don't have ads. I mean, you even gotta be sus of everyone, be sus of me. But at least, I mean, I don't have ads. Uh, and at this point, um, pro tips for uh, new YouTubers. The, the secret actually is uh, disable the comments, likes, views, stuff, and just upload it because it's a free place to upload uh, and host your videos. Um, don't seek to monetize YouTubes. That's not the goal. Um, only the best way to think about YouTube is it's free marketing i mean you just go there you know people get to know you and actually it's funny because like 99 percent of people who attend my workshops they don't watch my videos on the youtubes and then it's so funny when people like me they're not like oh eric i love your blog or your website they're always like i love your youtube channel i'm like cool uh and then apparently still nowadays kids who are like seven years old they want to grow up and become youtubers so yeah youtube gonna be around for a minute uh TikTok, uh, not so much. And let us not forget, it's owned by the Tencent Corporation, which is mainland China. Um, I mean, you want to do the TikTokies? That's uh, fine for you. But uh, <laughs> if you're on TikTok, you anti-American. Um, yeah, I think mainland China. I mean, like the funny thing too is like mainland Chinese people are actually really cool, like very open-minded, very great, awesome. Uh, I have no no problems about anybody, their nationalities. The bigger issue is government. Uh, so don't trust mainland China. I mean, like, as long as they still like censoring the, what, Tiananmen Square things and the massacres and stuff like that, it's, uh, yes, yeah, not good. And I'm also starting to think that the new oligarchs of the world, you know, as long as you like embed with the mainland Chinese government, just trying to accumulate and accrue your own personal wealth, I find that quite, uh, quite uh, mm, non-manly, I guess is the, the closest thing. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's so funny too, it's like nowadays, you're not allowed to be nationalistic. Like I can't be a German, like this is actually funny. So I went to Germany, I was in Berlin and then I went to the thrift shop. I got a German jacket with a German flag on it. I thought it was super cool, right? And I'm like, you know, bloodthirsty American, right? And I'm like proudly wearing it, did it is. And then uh, we went to Amsterdam and Netherlands and then people like be staring at my military jacket with the German flag on it and they'd be like kind of uncomfortable by it. And I'm like, yo, it's not my, it's like, yo, my bad, Holland, Amsterdam, you know, the Dutch. It's like, it's not my fault that 
you know the Germans done took it over your country during the during the war because your military wasn't that strong. Um, so even nowadays in Germany, you're not allowed to wear a ger uh, wave a German flag or else you're like a Nazi, right? Unless it's a sporting event, uh, you could do it twice a year. What German holiday and uh, you're watching football, right? Um, and then also, I think we should stop using the word neo, like neo Nazi. Neo means new, like neo from the Matrix. Um, the issue was saying neo, neo capitalism, neo liberalism, blah blah. Hey, nobody really understand what that means. Just say new. It's like you new Nazis, or we even have to uh, new. Just say Nazis, right? And what is a Nazi? I was doing some research, ChatGPTs, don't use Wikipedia, it's, it's not good. Um, Wik, Wiki quote is actually not too, too terrible, but anyways, let us not forget that Hitler started the, the Nazi Socialist Party. It was technically the, like, we, 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 we equate Nazis with, like, being, you know, uh, Satan, right? Uh, the devil. Um, but let's not forget, uh, it was... I mean, technically, the Nazi party, they were just the... They are almost like the leftist, liberal, socialist government. Uh, they're kind of more about populism and, uh, you know, kind of... Like, low-key Marx-Leninism in so far much as focused on production, it is, right? So, essentially, a Nazi is somebody who doesn't permit you to act a certain way so the reason why i find all this woke ass talk so uh annoying is so like let's say you know you want me to talk to you a certain way right i'm like that's fine right but you cannot force me to talk to you a certain way but if it makes you feel uncomfortable it's like it's not my fault it's like it's like you you eat meat that makes me feel uncomfortable i'm like you eat vegetables that makes me feel uncomfortable they're like yeah but it's a very, all right so everyone always trying to game somebody else um so yeah, delete all the delete all the platforms, stuff like that. Um, and also the thing with thinking is you got to start walking in order to think. So typically in my new workflow, I don't know why, guys, I'm like waking up like um, like uh, very early, like 3.30, 4, 4.30, 3.45. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't wish this upon my worst enemy. Uh, but yeah, have, I wake up, have a bunch of coffee. Um, and then just go on a walk. And I think the secret of happiness is muscular strength, good sleep, and like a 100% pedestrian lifestyle. Like, my thought is it's better to rent an apartment in an extremely, extremely desirable location that you could just like literally walk everywhere, like Culver City Arts District, uh, to the downtowns, rather than live in a $100 million mansion in Malibu and be stuck in your little bunker compound, right? And the funny thing too is like, I'm doing some research at David Geffen, and like, people be so salty about the billionaires, right? And then I'm just like, why, why are you so jealous? Like, they stuck on a yacht, like that, that kind of sucks. Like, I, <laughs> I, I like land because even if you have a $40 billion yacht, uh, you can't actually walk around that far and ultimately i still think we like being part of society um hollywood producers the people who really run hollywood they super smart like uh david geffen ain't nobody know what he looks like so he can just walk around in public and not have be uh handed by other people's whereas if you as a brad pitt uh yeah you can't you can't walk around in public without being mobbed by fans and stuff like that so my thought is what they do in hollywood is the producers, the directors, who nobody knows who they are. Like, even the Wachowski uh, brothers, now the sisters, um, they were super duper smart to never do no interviews so nobody who even know who they are. So they could just live a normal life. Whereas like, you can't be Keanu Reeves and just like stroll into an Erewhon or a Tijos or a Core Power without having uh, people, a few of them you, right? So, hmm, these are pretty good. Um, so, yeah, having privacy. Oh, no, uh, privacy and security. Uh, privacy and security. Uh, let's see, how can I do this? Privacy, security, security, and freedom. More security, less freedom. Um, 
Okay, so I actually had a funny thought. So, yeah, so, okay, once again, let's say you're a billionaire, trillionaire. Not, not as cold today, right? Not as cold today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, bro? So, well, man, how about yourself? I'm like, uh, oh, man, I almost died last night, bro. What the hell? Do you know what happened? No, what happened, dude? So, you know, it's, like, been kind of cold, right? Yeah. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to turn on the, the heater, right? So, it's, like, it's one of those old school gas electric lamp heaters, right? And, you know, you got you to turn on the pilot light and shit, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's, like, we turn it on. And I'm just, like, I'm just, like, a little bit concerned because, like, I'm not that good with that, right? And then, you know, especially with gas, part, carbon monoxide, bullshit, right? Yeah. So, we turn it on. It's, like, okay, it looks like it works, right? And turn it on, like, woke up super early, turn it on, right? And I tried to turn on the heater and then the... The, the carbon monoxide thing went off. I think we set up the thing incorrectly, so it was just shooting carbon monoxide mm -hmm. in the apartment. My three-year-old kid was just sleeping, my wife was sleeping. Fortunately, the carbon monoxide thing, it turned on and just woke us all up. Cause like, can you imagine if that shit wasn't working, we didn't change the batteries, y'all sleeping and shit, fucking carbon monoxide there. Y'all just die in your sleep, bro. Yeah. I'm only 35 years old, three-year-old kid or what? Is that crazy? That's crazy as shit, dude. Yeah. Dude, you got saved, dog. You That's know? what I'm saying. So I'm like, I woke up chair, I'm like, I'm fucking alive, bro. I'm alive. Yeah, I ain't yeah. dead, right? <laughs> so I'm like, I ain't finna do no shit to like, like, I'm like, yeah, it's just like, because I mean, I'm just gonna, like, you, bro, you should change your carbon monoxide thing. Check your apartment, check your house and stuff like that. Yeah. Because that shit is fucking real, bro. And they always say that, like, don't go to sleep with the heater on, right? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's cool. Like, people do it, right? But I'm like, now I, I really understand. Yeah, dude, it's a risk. Yeah. With the gas ones, done. In my, in my defense, honestly, you should grab an electrical one. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the thing is, we have an electrical one, right? Mm. But then, you know how it's more, um, it's technically more expensive, right? Because gas is cheaper, right? Mm. But, like, I'm always, like, kind of low-key sus. I mean, you my wife, she told me when she woke up, she had, like, dreams about, um, you know, the movie Backdraft and your know, firefighters and shit, right? So I'm like, now moving forward, if there's any sort of concerns about this bullshit, mm -hmm. I ain't finna like do that shit myself because like I don't trust myself because like yeah. yeah, fucking scary man. Or, or YouTube, it. just YouTube it and just see. If yeah, like, well, the, well, the thing too is with the YouTubes, right? Yeah. Like it, it's it's good, right? But still, like, what if the machine's just broken? I don't know. True that. Yeah. Or like you know, or because yeah, because technically, even if you had some uh, like legit person come and set it up today, right? Like. Sometimes people make the mistake, like, you know, they say, oh, okay, it, it, it works, and they just dip out, right? And then let's say in the middle of the night, it's like, oh, it's cold, I don't want my kid to be cold at night. You turn on the, turn on the gas heater, then boom, your kid dies of carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah. You're so sad! Yeah, that's crazy. My shit, first dude. kid, bro. Yeah. That's scary as hell. So if, if you died in your sleep because of carbon monoxide poisoning, but you done lived, how would you live your life differently? Dude, appreciate every every day, dude. Every fucking minute, cause you never know when it's your time. Yeah, so you, things like that are very like fucking crazy. Yeah. So when it happens, dude, it catches you. Yeah. Like, and then I'm just like thinking too. It's like you know, it's like we're all like, oh, you know, gotta save up money, gotta do it, dude, dude, dude. And you're like worrying about all this bullshit. I'm like, man, you like looking the Grim Reaper. You're just like, no, that shit oh, fucking that matters. Shit. No, that shit matters. <laughs> What's your name? Eloy. Eloy. Huh? Eloy. How you spell? E-L-O-Y. Well, what's the name of your, what's your, what's the, the story of your name? I never heard of Eloy. Uh, it's called... My name's Eric, so we both start with E. Eric? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Eric. Yeah. So, uh, Eloy, what's your... My, the story behind that one, yeah. it's for my grandpa. Yeah. So, it's four generations. Four generations. Yeah. 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 Four